ChatGPT just got its most important update yet. You can now control and interact with apps straight from your chat. And all this is possible thanks to their new apps SDK. Hi guys, my name is Omri from AI Academy and today I'll be teaching you everything you need to know about the new update. So let's clear things up a little bit. What do they mean by chatting with your apps? They literally mean that you can tag an app in the chat GPT interface and chat with the actual inputs of the app. So for example, in this example that they have on their YouTube channel, they chatted with Canva and they said, Canva, can you turn this outline into a deck? and ChatGPT calls up on Canva and chats with the actual app to create a deck for you. Now, this isn't limited to Canva. There's a lot of other apps that you can connect to it, like Expedia, as it says right here, or even Spotify, Zillow, Booking.com, Coursera, and a ton of other apps like Figma. Now, over time, there's going to be a lot more apps added to this apps SDK because the more developers are able to put that into their apps, the more ChatGPT will be able to use that app. Now, let's test it out and see if it's actually good. So let's try out the Canva example. Example. So we'll add Canva, add a photo and see if it can make a pitch deck for a company that I'm working on. Create a pitch deck for Hooked AI. I included the logo of Hooked. Hooked AI is a AI thumbnail generator that allows YouTube creators to generate thumbnails and edit them. Cool, let's see what it does. So we have our at Canva, give them the logo. Let's see if it allows us to connect to the app. Cool, we have our connecting to app right here. Now it's connecting to Canva. It's going to probably give us a pop up to agree to connect to Canva. So we'll see what it does. Cool. ChatGPT wants to connect to Canva, create, edit, resize, and make more stunning presentation docs, social posts. Cool. Let's allow it to connect. Continue to Canva. We'll allow it to connect. Authorization successful. Goes back to ChatGPT. Canva is now connected. Cool. So now it's probably going to start working on my pitch deck. Cool. So now we have a couple of pitch decks from Canva. We can open them up and see what they look like. So here kind of mess up with the background. Obviously it put text on text, which doesn't look good, but let's see what the other slides are. The solution, hooked AI generates the thumbnails in seconds, smart editing using natural language, optimized for higher click-through rates, problem, creators spend hours designing thumbnails, quality often remains inconsistent and low, poor thumbnails lead to missed opportunities. And it pretty much created a whole pitch deck for Hooked AI. This is just one of the presentations that it generated. It actually generated four. So we can click on the other ones and see what those look like. Now, keep in mind, this is just from a simple prompt. Obviously, if you want a better presentation, you're going to give it a lot more details and what you want in the pitch deck. But for a first go with not much context. These are pretty good. Future of AI thumbnails, products by Hooked AI, problem, solution, market potential, product demo and results, traction and user satisfaction, business model overview. So yeah, this is just one of the things that you could do with the apps SDK that they added. Create presentations using Canva without actually hiring a designer or having to go through the actual Canva app. I do like this one a little bit better than the rest of them. This one's cool. But yeah, you can also open it with Canva and edit it and add your own touch to it once it's generated something for you. Now you can also use Figma inside ChatGPT. So this is to generate different website designs and things like that. So let's actually try it with the same concept. So generate for hooked AI, we can generate a landing page. So let's actually try this generate a landing page in Figma for hooked AI. I attached an image of the logo for hooked AI. Use all your knowledge about hooked AI to generate this landing page. Cool, super simple prompt. Let's see what it does. This is just, you know, first test, first try. I'm assuming it's going to ask us to connect to Figma as well, just like it did with Canva. So I'm going to do that. And then it'll probably proceed to generate the rest of it. So super quick to connect to Figma. You just had to agree to a couple buttons. And since I already have accounts for Canva and Figma, it just automatically finds them for me because they're within my browser. And then it just lets me connect to it. Cool. So it generated kind of a wireframe of this, not even a wireframe, kind of the funnel for the landing page. So just hero section, feature section, showcase section, pricing section, testimonials, and CTA footer. I actually wonder if it'll allow you to generate the actual hero section. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe you have to use their actual Figma dev mode in order to do that. But you know, this is the point of testing this out. Cool. So it says, let's generate the actual hero section, headline, subheadline, primary CTA, secondary CTA, visual and style. And it also asked me if I want a mobile and desktop one. Let's do both of them. Cool. So it's generating a fig jam diagram. Interesting. But let's see what it comes up with. So it looks like it generated another kind of wire frame looking thing. I'm not sure why. Maybe this is all you could generate for now, but I'm going to screenshot it and tell it that this is what it generated. I want an actual landing page. So let's see if it does that. If it doesn't, I guess this is the only type of stuff that you can generate as of now, but I'm hoping that the better the AI gets, the more it lets you generate. So let's test this out real quick before moving on to the next app and topic. Okay. So I see what happened after I sent this message. It basically says that I might not have dev mode enabled. I don't have a Figma paid plan, but this basically shows 
shows that if you do have a Figma paid plan, you can actually design different things using ChatGPT. But as you can see, other than Figma and Canva, you can use Zillow, Spotify, Expedia, Coursera, and a bunch of other apps. Now that you understand what the apps SDK does, let's talk about why it's important. There are three main reasons why I do believe this is one of the biggest updates ChatGPT has had so far. And the last one kind of goes on to predict what the future may look like. So stay tuned for that one. But the first reason this is important is because of the productivity boost that you can get. If you're a student or have a job, this can benefit you. Instead of creating a presentation with an ultra detailed prompt, you can get one in a couple of seconds. Instead of having to search for the perfect course to learn what you want to learn, you can just type in a prompt and get a course from Coursera in seconds. So basically the point of this is that you're going from work that would take probably a couple minutes to hours to being able to complete them in a couple of seconds. Now, the second reason why this is important is because you can put the apps SDK into any app. Now, if I decide that I want to add the apps SDK to the Hooked AI web app, the app for generating YouTube thumbnails with AI, then I can just add it to our code, spin up something called an MCP server and allow the ChatGPT app to access Hooked AI's platform natively to the ChatGPT chat interface. This means anybody who has an app or any app that you're currently using can get added to ChatGPT, which means if you have all the apps that you're using on ChatGPT, you will no longer have to click anything. And reason number three is think about the future of interfaces. Meta launched their new AI glasses with the little screen here and the wristband where you can just talk to the glasses or type to the glasses and control a lot of your apps from the screen and your fingers. But imagine if Meta's AI wasn't limited to only Meta's AI and say another Another company like OpenAI launches a product like that, but then we have ChatGPT being able to interact with every single app. That would mean you can literally talk to your glasses and control everything on your phone, or in that case, in your little glasses screen. Now, if you've enjoyed this update, please leave a like and comment down below what you want to see next. Subscribe if you like AI related videos. We have a ton of tutorials on our channel, and I will see you guys in the next video.